Hello everybody. Um, this is, I guess, more of an author tube video than any other kind of tube. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Um, basically... Did you guys hear that? <laughs> okay, in case you didn't know, that meant Zoe didn't have no pants on. Good job, babe. I changed out my shorts. <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, so anyway, what I wanted to talk about um, is what not to do during Preptober. And I'm sure there are a million things you really shouldn't do during Preptober. But the one thing that I am strongly urging you not to do um, is listen to people who make videos about Preptober. So, for those of you that are smart asses out there, you could turn this video off right now. Um, what I mean by that, though, is this morning, um, to be honest, I'm so excited. Um, I woke up this morning after not really sleeping that well, and I had all these like ideas I was trying to put together um, that are the like the basic bare bones of what my NaNoWriMo is going to be. And um, I'm like, you know what? Let's see what other people are talking about. Because um, like Steve Donahue is doing stuff and Richardson Reeds is doing stuff. Um, but I just wanted to see like um, cause I know there's a huge NaNoWriMo YouTube community. So I wanted to just kind of see what, um, people were talking about and what plans they were making and stuff like that, just to try to get inspired because I was bouncing off the walls with all these ideas and I wanted to like, just do more planning, I guess. And I watched a few videos, um, Basically, what I did was I searched Preptober 2019 and watched, like, the first, like, three or four videos. Um, then I got nervous about what I'm about to say. So then I searched it again, and two of those four videos I watched weren't in the top four anymore. So, um... I don't know how YouTube allocates what videos are on the top of a search or not, but this is basically what I found. There were a lot of people giving a lot of advice um, that were opinions, but they were disguised as facts. Now, this bothers me um, to no end. And it's not just NaNoWriMo stuff that this bothers me about. Um, whenever someone takes an idea, a theory, an opinion, anything like that, and somehow takes it and balls it up to show it to you and then sell it to you as the definitive way of doing something, or this is the only way to do something, I get mad. <clears throat> it's, um, it's not trustworthy. It's a very horrendous practice. And people who do those things do those things to take advantage of people who are weak, people who, um, are just like willing to do anything to get that one thing that they want kind of thing. Um, and when they hear a snake oil salesman say something like that, um, they jump at that stuff. Um, now, I do not want to turn Preptober into a witch hunt, and I don't want to start a bunch of crap with a bunch of people who spend probably a lot more time on Twitter than I do. So... I don't want to get into that or get into what those people who, what channels they are and what they're saying. But when you watch these videos, because if I was doing it, I'm sure other people are doing it too. When they say stuff that don't do this, you need to do this. 
don't do that. Nobody does that. What you want to do is this. Anytime they say stuff like that, take it with a grain of salt and think about it. Because the most important thing here in the world, and the reason why NaNoWriMo is even a thing, is because it's to get people who've always wanted to write a book, but never have. And they're like, okay, there's a bunch of people just like you, and they're all going to write a book right now. And you guys are going to do it together. So go. That should be the only, like, big, like, to-do with it. Like, I've written quite a few books. Other people have written quite a few books that are doing NaNoWriMo. And it's just, it's a fun thing. It's like, I don't want to say fellowship. Um, that has kind of a religious overtone to it, I think. But, you know what I mean? It's just like... It's encouraging to know that there's other people doing something while you're doing that thing with them. And if there's people out there trying to tell you the right way and the wrong way to do something, or um, if you're going to do this, you have to do it this way or else you're going to fail. And if you go over to my website and buy this little bit of information here, it's going to help you really kick Nano's butt. Now, I'm not going to bash on someone being capitalistic. That's fine. Whatever. Do what you want to do. But to the writers out there who are looking to do this and have this be like a, a big, important step in their lives, you know, like I'm going to write a book, you know, I'm I, I, like I've wanted to write a book forever and now I'm going to do it. Don't get bogged down by like the ridiculous um, opinion facts that a lot of people throw out. If you're somebody who, I don't know, I'm trying to think of an example that I didn't hear. Um, okay, let's say you're somebody who, when you're reading books, you really dig love triangles. And you're like, man, love triangles are the shit. I love love triangles. And then you watch some video of someone who has like 10,000 subs and a really well lit little studio they're doing their video in and looks super professional. And they're like, listen, nobody likes love triangles, so don't do them. What you need to do is a dog race because everybody loves fucking dog races. Um, you, you don't have to listen to that person like... This is art, okay? This is you finding the story that you want to tell, you know? Um, there are different genres for a reason. There are different tropes in different genres. And then when you get into just, like, weird literary stuff, like, the books that people remember aren't the books that followed every single rule that every D-list celebrity said you had to follow, they're the books that went above and beyond and like broke the barriers. And, you know, I'm not saying to put out one of those books that's like a hundred thousand pages and there's only six words on each page. I'm not talking about doing anything like that, but, um, you know, just do what you want to freaking do. This is your NaNoWriMo. You're only beholden to write 50,000 words. Okay. If you want to write those 50,000 words in Klingon, I guess you could. No one's going to tell you you can't, and they shouldn't tell you you can't. Um, this is your book, your NaNoWriMo, okay? I think when you go on your NaNoWriMo page, there's a tab that says My NaNoWriMo, um, and that takes you to your page. Um, that's your NaNoWriMo. Do whatever the fuck you want with it. So that's it. Short video. Um, I hope. Um, please don't contact anybody. Um, if you think you know who I'm talking about, cause you probably don't. Um, but just like take everything, including this video with a grain of salt and just write a fucking book. That's it. Um, that's all you got to do. Okay. So 